everyone welcome here if you're new here my name is Rebecca if you're not new here welcome back thank you for coming back and watching another video so you may have noticed I've been a little quiet here on YouTube this summer it's really just been a time of being really quiet kind of turning inward and I've been trying to give myself the grace to respect that and not create content if it's feeling overwhelming or if I am not feeling creative or if I'm not feeling like I have anything to say, just kind of giving myself permission to take a little break and go with the flow a little bit more. That sounds so 70s. But I really want to create content that comes from a place of inspiration and when I feel like, oh, I have something to say and something to share. And so here we are. Thank you for watching and kind of sticking with me as I'm a little bit more sporadic in my content creation. But I miss talking to you all and um, I really wanted to talk today about kind of my story of minimalism and how I really feel like it has changed the course of my life, which sounds like hyperbole, but I really do think is true. So in today's video, I'm just gonna share a few of the ways that minimalism really did kind of shift the course of my life, really in the hopes of either inspiring one of you to maybe try minimalism or to take it even to the next level and understand sort of what happens after you declutter and how minimalism can translate into a more intentional life. Before we dive into it, I just want to thank Nord Green for sponsoring today's video. For those of you who have been around this channel a while, you know that I love my Nord Green watch. I wear it every single day. They are a sustainable watch brand out of Copenhagen. They've been a longtime sponsor of this channel, and I'm so excited that they're also sponsoring today's video. So more on them later. Let's dive right in. Okay, so how has minimalism changed the course of my life? I found minimalism at a time when I was in a place of really deep overwhelm and kind of teetering on the edge of burnout. And I say that this is when I found minimalism, but really that's when I found a name for some of the things that were bringing me comfort for many years leading up to that. But it wasn't until I had sort of like a name and a community and a, a way to collectively think about the way in which I was living my life and learn some new things about minimalism that it really started to snowball and really started to change things. And like many people, I came to minimalism through the act of decluttering. And it started by recognizing these feelings of like, I feel like I'm being suffocated in so many parts of my life. Like I felt like I was being suffocated by my things, but I also felt like I was being suffocated by my responsibilities and my inability to set boundaries and overextending myself and just a myriad of things that were contributing to just feeling like the world was closing in on me. And so I started with my stuff. I started first organizing my things, being organized felt to me like I was gaining some sense of control over the things in my life. But then I realized that it wasn't really just about putting things in order, but being more intentional about the things I had. So I started getting rid of stuff, right? I started decluttering things. I started getting rid of things. I started giving things away and selling things and realizing that I could bring a sense of control to my life by controlling the objects that were in primarily my house. And it really was like a valve release for me. It gave me some sort of outlet and some sort of way when lots of things felt out of control to feel like I was in control of something. I don't necessarily think that's the healthiest thing in the world, to be honest. For me, it was a crutch sort of like anything else. Instead of really kind of peeling back the layers and dealing with what was going on in my life, I was using it as a way to release tension and feel in control instead of actually controlling the things in my life. It got me started on a path and revealed to me that I do have the power to control things, that I had the power at any moment to decide what I wanted in my life and what I didn't want in my life. And yes, that started with stuff. And yes, that started as stress relief and pressure relief, but it sort of opened that door into understanding that I was in control and that at any point I could change anything that I wanted about my life. The second way that it changed my life was really translating this idea of minimalism into essentialism. When you start to declutter the things in your life, you start to realize what things really bring you joy and what things add value and what things are really essential to the life that you want. And then 
I realized through the decluttering process and through the sort of mainstream understanding of minimalism that that can be applied to many different parts of your life. It can be applied to your work or your career. It can be applied to your relationships. And I'm not saying that you should declutter your job or you should declutter your friends or your spouse, but it gives you the tools to develop a critical eye and critical thinking about what it is that's going to help you craft the life that you want and what you're asking out of your relationships and what you're asking out of your work. Once I was able to build the muscle and the skill set of understanding what things that I wanted in my life when it came to stuff, I was able to apply the same principles and the same skills to my work and my relationships and understand how I wanted to craft that to make what felt like to me a happy life. So it's not necessarily like going through all your friends and saying, who am I going to declutter? But it's like, where am I going to put my energy? Where am I getting back what I'm putting out? And vice versa. Do I feel like I'm adding value to my relationships? Do I feel like I'm bringing joy to my relationships? Minimalism gives you a new system of measurement in order to understand all of the facets of your life that go way beyond just the stuff. The next way that minimalism changed my life is that it gave me confidence to go against the grain, right? Especially when I was sort of discovering minimalism, probably like eight, nine, 10 years ago, something like that at this point, no one had heard of it. It was a weird thing to do. Nobody really understood why I was getting rid of all of my stuff, but I knew that what I was doing was making me happy. And it gave me the confidence to explore other paths in my life that maybe no one else around me was doing or that felt a little against the grain or not the status quo. It was almost like the snowball effect of like, once you start doing one thing that feels really heart centered and aligned with what you're doing, but also is like raises some eyebrows, then you can keep making those decisions that make you feel good. Even if people are like, what are you doing? So I feel like I exist in this place where I feel really confident in my ability to make decisions for my life and do things a little bit differently. You know, whether that be to sell everything that I have and live out of our Volkswagen bus or move across the country or drive solo across the country two times a year or live by coastally, you know, that, that one little spark, that one little thing of deciding to do something that brings you joy, regardless of what other people think has immense and profound power to it. The next way that minimalism changed my life is it strengthened my ability to set boundaries. And I think that some of this might be my life stage as well. I just turned 40. And I think that there is a wisdom and boundary setting that comes at sort of this life stage. But I really do think the seed of that was planted in my journey of minimalism. Because I'm constantly flexing that muscle of what brings me joy and what brings me value, I'm able to stand it with such confidence in the things that I will allow in my life and not allow in my life beyond just the physical things. Being intentional with the things in your life and with the stuff in your life really sets a good foundation and framework to apply that to other things that you're either going to allow in or not, or bolstering a little bit of confidence to say like, no, I know what brings me value. I know what brings me joy. I know how to be intentional because I practice it every single day through minimalism. So I'm going to have no problem saying to other people and setting boundaries with other people because I so deeply kind of live in that truth of what I know to be happiness for me. All right, before we dive into the last way that minimalism has changed my life, I just want to talk a little bit about our sponsor, Nordgreen. If you haven't heard of Nordgreen, they are a Danish watch brand out of Copenhagen. And what I love about this company is they really do care about people and the environment and they ensure that everything from production all the way to delivery is super sustainable. All of the packaging is made of recycled paper and plastic bottles and is designed to use as little material as possible. All of the shipping is carbon neutral. They plant thousands of trees which offset the carbon emissions that are generated by their office in Copenhagen. And to reduce waste, they refurbish a lot of their products back to the standard to which they can be sold again. I have the native style watch with the white dial in the 40 millimeter size face. And what I love about this watch is the super simple and minimal design. You can change out the strap super easily. So I have both the brown and the black vegan leather strap. 
every watch sold contributes to a meaningful cause and with every purchase you can choose your donation to one of three global NGOs, one that provides clean water, one for free education for children in India, and one that protects the rainforest in Latin America. Norgreen actually launched this spring a new line called the Guardian line which has a beautiful minimal and classic design. So if you are in the market for a new watch I would highly recommend them. I have a discount code that I will put up on the screen here and also in the description box down below and they are having a summer sale through the 31st of July so go check it out. So the last way that minimalism has changed my life is that it's really built a sense of trust within myself. Even when you're doing something as simple as decluttering your house it brings you a greater understanding of who you are and what makes you happy and the things that you want to invite into your life. And that's so quickly for me translated into a greater understanding of who I am. So when I feel like I'm faced with a big decision or if I'm contemplating a big change or making a big left turn in my life, I have a certain sense of understanding and sense of trust in my decision-making abilities and a greater understanding of what it means to craft a life that brings me happiness. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. I hope it gave you a greater understanding that minimalism is not just about getting rid of your stuff. It opens doorways, it opens pathways, and I really do believe in the intentionality of it. It was great talking to all of you. I kind of miss this, and I will see you the next time I feel inspired to share something with you. Bye, everyone.